Good afternoon. Welcome to our step number five of our lesson, Turning Your Dreams into Reality. We're going through the 10 steps that make that possible. And this week, we're on step number five, which is start small and keep it simple. Start small and keep it simple. Now, as we begin discussion about the step number five, it is certainly my prayer that you found steps one through four helpful and that you continue to re-evaluate yourself based on the steps that we've covered previously so that we can be sure to build a solid foundation as we continue to go through the next six steps. So here we are with start small, keep it simple, which is step number five. Now, I know when we get excited about our plans, ideas, dreams, and goals, that we want to just go out and proclaim it to the world. But let me caution you that that's not always a good idea, especially if you have not had time to prove your product or service yet. Now, this is true because no matter how well thought out or well-planned our ideas are, problems will arise that have to be addressed and or corrected. And I believe that it's best for us to be able to do that while our business organization and or membership is small enough to make the adjustments without upsetting potentially thousands or millions of people. So as we go over step five, we will deal with two ideas. The first idea is start small. And by this, I mean launch your product or service on a small scale first, and then expand it to larger numbers of people as you are able to correct any flaws and or issues that arise. The second phrase or ideal that we'll discuss as we talk about step five is keep it simple. Keep it simple. Now this will help you by not making your product or service too complicated or hard to understand. You can always add new features, new products or services later. But if you start off on the wrong foot with your customers, clients, and or members, you may not get a second chance. So to reiterate, start small and keep it simple in the beginning. Test out your products and or service with small groups of people and listen to their feedback. This will help you to improve your service and or your product and to better serve larger numbers of people later on. So get a blank sheet of paper and let's go over this exercise as we conclude step number five. We're discussing 10 steps to turn your dream into reality. In the exercise for step five, Here's the question that I want you to think about and to address as you think about or review what we discussed today. If you have a blank sheet of paper, you can write this question down. And the question is, how can you make sure that your product or service is tested before going big with it? And what type of feedback system will you put in place? Again, how can you make sure that your product or service is tested before going big with it? And what type of feedback system will you put in place in order to hear ways to improve your product or service? So again, I'm thankful that I had this opportunity to go over step number five with you again, which is start small and keep it simple. I look forward to covering our next 
four steps with you as we continue to learn how to turn our dreams into a reality.